Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Mr. Smiley, the traveling Smiley, and a smiley of all smileys. How's everybody doing? How was your week? Mine was long, long week this week. But I am halfway home. This is the drive home. I got my driving companion right here, my Sasquatch. I need a name for this guy. Uh, so if you guys can pick one for me, please give me a name. And uh, maybe I will use it for Mr. Sasquatch there. He's just a bunch of hairy guy, right? <laughs> oh, man. So, Smiley did a horrible thing last night. Well, it was a good thing, but a bad thing. It was St. Patrick's. Patrick's Day yesterday and old Smiley got him a bottle for his birthday from our uh, security guard at work uh, Andy thank you very much if you watch this uh, it was yummy or too yummy I uh, drank a whole pint of uh, Captain Morgan so I was being a pirate last night Arr. Well, it started out really good and then got to the bottom of the bottle and then I called my brother to tell him I love him and uh, well, I have to apologize to Sean Burris right now because I was a complete asshole. He uh, was plugging in his phone and uh, the cat decided to start screwing with him and scratched him. So he cussed the cat out or whatever. He said something to the cat. And I thought, being drunk at all, I thought he was talking to me and calling me names. So, uh, you know, I commenced getting all mad and everything else. I ended up uh, leaving a message on his phone twice. It was pretty bad. So I have to apologize to Sean, and then I have to apologize to Charlene, my wonderful, wonderful Charlene. She ended up tucking me in last night for Buncey, Indiana, when I was in Michigan. I got so drunk, I called her, and I'm, I know we didn't argue, I don't believe, but... She had to help me out a little bit last night. I uh, got sick in the toilet. I pulled one of my dad's things and I got sick of the dog. Uh oh. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Woo. So I got pretty sick last night and. Uh, Your needs again. That's awful. Oh man. Uh, so I uh, was so drunk that I, when I was getting sick, I I wear false teeth, you guys. If anybody didn't notice or know, I I have false teeth. Well, I uh, glue my top ones in, you know, because. They're not, you know, they're comfortable, but they're not, and they'll, they'll fall out, you know, if I don't. But the bottom ones do pretty good. They, they stay down, and we're okay on that, but sometimes they'll, you know, come out if I'm saying a certain word or two, but last night I commenced to puke in, and, uh, well, I dropped them in the toilet. <laughs> so that was bad and uh, Charlene co coach coached me on finding them and getting them back in my mouth you know, not in my mouth but you know back out of the toilet and uh, I had to stick my hand in the toilet with all the puke and <laughs> yuck I am thankful, though, that, you know, I am a grown man and decent hygiene. I 
do flush the toilet when I get done, you know, after the number one and especially after number two. And I'm so glad that I did do that before I puked in the toilet. <laughs> so that was pretty gross. But uh, she helped me get those out. Uh, and then uh, I'm pretty sure she coached me to the bed and told me to get my clothes off and get laid down and told me good night. I love you. Uh, so, which is good because that bottle kicked in and uh, I honestly don't remember falling asleep. So, and uh, I don't remember going to in the room after I was outside, so, yeah, little patience from uh, Dalton and Travis, and I appreciate that completely, I uh, appreciate uh, Dalton for all day and dealing with my hangover, but, you know, I need, first I need to apologize to Charlene, I am sorry. And if it wasn't for you, I would be a mess. <laughs> so, there's that, you guys. She is the most awesome woman in the world. If you cannot tell by now, that should tell you something right there about her. She has a heart of gold. Even though I mess with her and tell her she has a cold hearted. She's cold hearted and all. She's not. <laughs> And uh, Dalton, thank you for being patient with me also. And Travis, thank you for helping me in the hotel. Because I believe I needed help there. But that was my night last night. How was your St. Patrick's Day? I hope it was good. It, hey, I tell you what, it was pretty fun. Because uh, I, uh, if you guys didn't see your post last night on Facebook, I... Uh, shared Dropkick Murphy live and uh, that was a really good show last night so that was a good 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 St. Patrick's Day I had my hat on I had my green hat on and I was good but that was the adventures of Smiley last night uh, hey Charlene at least I did not pee in the closet <laughs> Uh, <laughs> maybe one day I will tell you guys about that little gem of the story. <laughs> hey, if you got some uh, good drunken stories, make sure you share, you know. Uh, comment down below and uh, like and subscribe if you like this stuff. But, uh, yeah, that was my same package today. I know, today I was just coming out chatting me. And I uh, got a little drunk. <laughs> uh, oh, and Nick, um, I believe Charlene may have blocked you. Uh, at least that uh, that um, Facebook page of yours. So I will uh, try to get her to unblock you. Uh, she don't pull no bullshit. She didn't know, so she does apologize, and I apologize. But we'll get we'll get her back on your on your page and all that stuff. So there we go. But if you guys can't hear it, it is raining, and unfortunately, it's raining because you know I really would love to get on my bike. Damn it! Hey, you can't have it all, right? You can't have nice weather. All the time. Hey, I hope you guys had a good week. Uh, I know I have. It's been a trying week. But I do have one question. So, as some of you might know, I am in the Union. Uh, in Muncie, from Muncie. Local 1112, baby. What? Represent. Represent. Uh, so, 
the Union Boys up in Michigan, I found this out, this is quite interesting, I uh, found out Monday because this is when they done it, uh, so they have this thing that they do, if a new job comes up that might pay a little bit more or they're kind of interested in it, they will call in sick for the day of orientation at this other job just to see if they want to do that job. And if they like it, they'll stay. But here's the kicker. They will say something is wrong until they get back or I have been told that, well, when the job runs out, we just kind of go back to the job that we was just in. They let us back, normally. I don't know, have you guys ever heard of that crazy stuff? But, uh, for the Michigan guys and Michigan folks, if you ever work for Renaissance, just so you know, we don't play games like that. So if you, uh, you know, play stupid games, you get stupid prizes. And uh, you will no longer be back at Renaissance ever. <laughs> so just keep that in mind, Michiganers. But yeah, I thought that was crazy. Hey, you guys could always tell me some stories if you guys got anything. I, if you ain't noticed, I'm trying to get you guys to talk a little bit to me. I get maybe one or two comments. I get maybe one or two likes, you know. But I am going to get out of here, guys. It's raining, and uh, I just don't want to... I got, you know, I got to pay... I pay attention here before I get in trouble with my Charlie. So, you guys be good. Have a great weekend. I will talk to you Monday, possibly, and definitely on Hope Day. So, you guys take care. You be safe. And as always, love, peace, and chicken grease. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys.